Hello everyone. In my last video, I discussed parts of speech and I told you we are going to do all the parts of speech in detail in the coming up videos. So today we are doing nouns. Let's begin with the help of an example. India is a beautiful country. So here, in this sentence, India and country are the names. So, the name of a person, place, animal or thing is called noun. You all know that all the names, whatever name it is, it can be of a person, of a place, of an animal or a thing is called a noun. Now, how many types of nouns are there? We are going to discuss that. Types of nouns. The first one we are taking is proper noun. Proper noun is the name of a particular person, place, animal, thing, etc. It is, it is always specific for a particular person, place, etc. Example, India. India is the name of a country. So, India is a proper noun. If I say name of a girl, uh, let's take Sita. So, Sita becomes the proper noun. Now, the common noun. The common names, the names of the common person, place, etc. It can be common for anyone. Example, country. It can be any country. It can be India, America. When I say country, it is a common noun. But when I give name to this country, it becomes a proper noun. Let's take another common noun, a girl. It can be a girl, can be any girl. It is not a particular girl. But when I talk about Sita, it becomes a particular girl and it becomes a proper noun. So, girl is a common noun but when I give a particular name to this girl Sita, it becomes a proper noun. So, I hope proper noun and common noun is very much clear to you. Now, let's take abstract noun. Abstract noun is a noun which is the name of a state or a quality or a feeling. It is a Name given to a feeling, to a quality. Example, honesty. Abstract noun, you can say feeling. Can you touch a feeling? No, you cannot touch it. So, abstract nouns, you can also remember that abstract nouns, you can never touch. You can only feel them. You can only understand them. So, it is called the abstract noun. Example, honesty, truth, etc. Concrete nouns. Now, concrete noun, it refers to a physical object. Something which you can touch. A concrete noun is any material or anything which you can touch. It shows the physical uh, presence of that object. Example, ball. If I give, if I ask you to close your eyes and touch something and it is round in shape, you will come to know that it is a ball. So you will come to know that is it is a concrete noun, a dog. You can touch a dog. Collective noun. As the name suggests, it always tells us about the collection, the name of the collection. Example, bunch, bouquet, pack, etc. Then comes the material noun. The material noun are the names of the material. It can be name of the metal, it can be name of any other thing. Example, gold, silver, etc. Then comes the countable noun. Again, as the name suggests, something which you can count. They are also known as the count nouns. Now, if I ask you to, I give you water and few eggs. Can you count water? No, you cannot count water. But can you count eggs? Yes, you can count eggs. So, countable nouns are the nouns which you can count. Example, eggs, chairs, etc. Uncountable noun, again as the name suggests, they are also known as the uncount nouns. You cannot count the uncountable nouns. Example, oil, sugar, water, etc. So, in this video, we have understood the types of nouns and what the noun is. So, the nouns which we have discussed today are proper noun, common noun, abstract noun, concrete noun, collective noun, material noun, countable noun and uncountable noun. I hope you like this video. I have uh, explained everything in a very brief way so that you can understand all the type of noun. If you like it, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.